Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. Welcome back to my playthrough of Saints Row the Third. Um, really sorry I haven't had a part for you guys yesterday. I've just been a bit busy with just covering the GTA update, but uh, now that I've covered the majority of it, I'll have a part of Saints Row the Third up every day, and we will be starting Modern Warfare 2 very soon. So if you guys enjoy this series, please do drop a like. It does help the series out a lot. But anyways, uh, let's go into our phone book here and peers take over the city. Oh, let's take this. If we're gonna get a cash flow going, we'll need a business to funnel us money. You wanna rob some store? That'll cause more problems than it's worth. I'm saying we buy one from the Morning Star. Yeah, because they'll jump at the chance to sell to us. Nope, because we already have the deed. Come again? We take the deed from the lockbox and purchase the store in our name instead. Well, if they can't argue. Yeah, um, uh, yeah, the remaster definitely looks good, um, uh, I will say that. But, um, the thing about it is, um, you know, from a Saints Row fan's perspective, I just felt like always, like, Stillwater is a little bit of a more detailed city, um, than Steelport. But, uh, let's get over here, um. So, what's weird about Saints Row the Third is that- So, friendly fire? Yep. Best thing is, owning it gives us a discount. Nice. Okay, let's see, uh, purchase, oh, purchase friendly fire. Purchase friendly fire for $100, wow. The Saints Row world is cool, you can buy a store for $100. This city's full of businesses and buildings we could snatch up. The more we take from the syndicate, the better. Right, though we're gonna need Steelport on our side too. Drive around and see if we got any fans here. So what I was saying is, what's a little weird about this game is that a lot of, like, the activities in Saints Row 2, a lot of them return in Saints Row the 3rd, but they're actually main missions in Saints Row the 3rd, like, a lot of times. That's what I found a little bit weird about it. Um. Oh, no. Okay. My god, that is really freaky. Pierce, what, what the hell is this? Oh, that? A little hobby of mine. Okay, ah. I'm out of here. Shit, I don't mean it like that. They're collectible. You're supposed to try and find them all. People collect some weird shit. <sighs> Let's get out of here. I have the need to shoot something now. What other deeds were in that box? An apartment building. Didn't I already get us a new place? <laughs> Brick and mortar, baby. Real estate is cheap. Well, take more money out of the syndicate's pocket and into ours. I like it. Wow, you can purchase an apartment building for a hundred dollars. Wow, Steelport has some real cheap real estate. Looks like a great place to do investments. All over the city doing deals and shit. Sounds perfect. We wipe them off a corner, they'll think twice about coming back. So this is kind of introducing you, I guess, to the uh, activities in the game. Um, this okay let's clear these guys out here good times oh. know anywhere else they do business yeah up to the north Try to get the car out of heat through here. <laughs> My bad, pretty bad driver in this game. Off a bit, you think? Head to friendly fire. 
That should get them to back off. Why would a gun store get them to back off? Because we own it. So we got boys protecting it. Any place the Saints own should be able to take the heat off you. Good to know. Well, hopefully they're not like the guards in the Scarface game that don't protect your business at all. Ah. Uh. Hide to lower notoriety, or we can just drive. Oh no! You think? Head to friendly fire. That should get them to back off. Why would a gun store get them to back off? Because we own it. Okay, get in so tears. Come on. Protected. Any place the Saints own should be able to take the heat off you. Good to know. Damn, what is he doing right now? Great. Oh, he's in the car now. Okay. Well, he's about to get murdered by that helicopter. Okay, come on. A little bit over a mile left. Okay, about half a mile left. Revive your homie, what? Oh, P they caught Pierce through the car. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Lily jumping to roll out of the way. I'm playing on hardcore. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, so uh, uh, for for people that don't know, I'm playing on a hardcore. Okay. Okay, so any building that we own, we can remove the notoriety really quickly. This person had a family. I hope you guys also like my suit for this playthrough. I copied the exact suit. I even have the vest underneath here, too, um, for this sum um, suit. Uh, let's see here. Um, tank Mayhem? Oh, this should be good. You feel like blowing shit up? Go on, I'm all ears. Found the route the Morningstar uses to deliver their goods buried in the Syndicate files. You saying we drop a few pipe bombs under them? Fuck that! I'm saying we use a tank! This may be the best idea you've ever had. So yeah, but the boss and Pierce interact a little differently in, like, Saints Row the Third, where in Saints Row 2, the boss made fun of, like, Pierce a lot of times, um, uh, but, like, uh, the boss is just fully listening to Pierce on everything he tells him to do in, in this one, so not only did, like, Shandi, um, change, but the boss changed also, like, a bit. Um, Pierce, I think, is still kind of the same, you know, he does a lot of planning and stuff, um, but the boss did change a bit, too, along with Shandi. Um, Tank Mayhem, okay, um... That wasn't much of a challenge. And also, like, you know, the, the trick to... The trick to completing, like, a rampage is you just gotta keep... You gotta keep hitting stuff just so that the, um... There. Just so that the street keeps going. That's the trick. Fences are like a great thing to destroy in these modes. There we go, got it. Okay, I guess we just wait till the combo dies down now, and, um, uh... Is that it? Wow, that was the fastest mission ever.
You have a lot more to tank mayhem activity, okay. Okay, let's see another mission here. Professor Genki, hold this. Huh, this. You ready to be a star? I thought we already were. Oh, not like this. You've been personally selected for a spot on a game show here in town. Game show? You're not trying to auction me off on some dating thing, are you? Trust me, you'll love this shit. Meet me and I'll show you. <sighs> you better be right. So this is, I think, the Genki Bowl thing. That's what this is. This is just like, uh... That, I remember at the very end of the trailers in Saints Row the Third, you had like this little teaser of uh, Genki. It would just Hello, appear for like a second. Steelport. Yeah, this is it. Welcome to Professor Genki's super ethical reality climax. Time to see how the game is played. Fight your way through Professor Genki's super sparkle lap for fun and profit. Now, with every man, woman, and tiger shot, your prize money goes up. But look out. No one likes it when you shoot a pan on it. Unethical. Once you've collected enough money, the door to the lab opens up, and you're free to go. But if you think it's that easy, you've never seen Kinky before. Oh, and one more thing. On this show, no one gets to take a break. If you want to stay in the fight, be sure to shoot the first aid target. Good luck. It's murder time, fun time. Murder time, fun time. So I remember Genki would always say ethical. That's what he would always say at the end. That was the thing. Welcome to Professor Genki's super ethical reality climax. Murder time is fun time, right, Bobby? You got it, Zach. If our contestants can survive the deadly traps, armed mascots, and those freakishly huge hunters, they can win a hefty pile of cash. This game looks deadly, because it is. <laughs> but it's still probably safer than driving in Steelport. <laughs> our competitor isn't from Steelport this time, Zach. Today, we'll be watching the leader of the Saints, the world-famous Stillwater Street Gang. So health doesn't There's regenerate in this. former gangbanger has been shot at, blown up, run over, and generally put through hell. This competition probably seems pretty routine. Uh, routine maybe, but lucrative. Whoa, whoa. You're going to make Professor Genki-sized dollars driving hose around. Oh, no, I shot the, uh, the panda. What's the voltage on those things? See a contestant dominate an arena like this often. Thank you, bad. Our bell go home rich. Cash in pocket. Money shot. Okay. Oh, whoa. Well, at least I got some help. Oh. Damn the fire. Okay. No, at least it is. It still is challenging. I'll give it that. Wish we had instant replay on that. I'd hate to be a mascot facing this contestant. It's getting hot uh, in that arena. Damn, I. So, Bobby, how do you clean sewage out of a convertible? With a toothbrush. Really? No. Okay, there we go. I got help. I used to be really good at this Genki Bowl thing. I actually did. Um, but it's just I haven't played Saints Row 3 in so long. I like these pistols. Unethical targets Oh, unethical. Penalties, Bobby. Is doing everything right. And that's it! We have a winner! So there we go, that is Professor Genki's um uh Genki Bowl, and um uh, there's way more of these shows. It's good that you can un you unlock Pierce and Shandy right at the start of the game. That makes sense. Um, it wouldn't really make much sense to for the end of the game because you know you're the boss, um, and you know you worked really hard in Saints Row Two. Um, but anyways, let's see. We've only just begun. Okay. 
I'm surprised the syndicate is still standing after all this shit we've thrown at him. I don't see a reason to stop. Not saying we should. All right. They see you at the broken shillelagh. Doesn't seem like your kind of place, Pierce. What's the hate? The beer is cheap, and I'm the best looking motherfucker in here. Look, you may think it's time to kick back, but I'm done toying with these bastards. I want Loren, and I want him now. So where is he? No idea. But 10K says he's hiding out in that big ass skyscraper. Uh, Loren's a tactician. He's not gonna hole up in a building that screams, I'm a criminal mastermind. I need something concrete. To hit up powder. No, uh, I don't have time for a stripper. No, Powder's a designer gun store downtown. I saw some of Loren's thugs talking to the owner. There's gotta be something there. Alright, let's go shopping. I gotta, um, uh... I gotta, um, change my character's eyes. He just looks a little weird still. I'm um, sorry about that, guys. Um... Okay, let's see. Missions. Shondi, give me good news. We're gonna burn powder to the ground. That's a little extreme. See you there. Shondi, wait. Oh boy. Go to powder. I think that that's the, um, uh, that is the syndicate. I know have like a really big building in the city. You don't think the back's guarded? There's like two punks. What about the inside, motherfucker? Put in your tampons and let's do this. Yeah, so Shandy's personality changed a lot. Um... Okay, uh... Okay. No one could beat me. Shondi. You said two guys, not my fault. No, I'm serious. This is my kind of plan. Oh, oh they're still alive? Okay. Let's get inside. Come on, baby. Time to put the They have snipers in here. Whoever's in charge here probably knows where to find Loren. Let's head to the office and see if they're hiding under their desk. I think one of these guys is a human shield. Okay. Okay, there we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Man, I should have really stocked up on ammo on the pistol. Damn, I'm good. Okay, that was impressive. Oh, this can't be good. Mini gun. Here they come. Ah. Ooh. 
Well, that was a pretty easy boss. That boss is actually with the minigun easier uh, easier than the guy who charges you when he doesn't have a gun. Okay, up to the manager's office. Ah, oh, let's get rid of this guy now here. Yeah. Assault rifle is going to be probably better in this situation. Is that like music that's playing? I can't even tell what that is. Um, I turn that off just in case. I don't want to just get a risk getting a copyright claim on something here. Uh. Okay. Just like old times. You son of a bitch! Looks like they don't want us getting to that office. We're not giving them a choice. Guess the manager cleared out. I'll get what I can off the computer. Oh, they can... They can shoot you through that. Okay. Let's head on over to Ammunition, because I need to get some upgrades. Lauren Square. Uh, he's a square named after him. Not very smart of a gangster. Um, uh, but, uh, okay, let's see. There is a friendly fire not too far from here. But, yes, um, there were gangsters in real life that tried to be celebrities. That has actually happened before. Um, the most notable example of a, of a gangster celebrity was Al Capone. Now, you think Al Capone, celebrity? Yes. Al Capone tried to be a celebrity. Al Capone gave interviews to newspapers. He would love being on the front pages of papers. He liked that, you know, and the Mafia very quickly learned that that was a very bad idea. You want to keep yourself out of the public because it attracts attention to yourself. But Al Capone loved all the attention being on, on himself, and he thought that he was untouchable. Um, so, like, no gangster would have a square named after them, um, uh... You know, in today's day and age, and even so, what would they even have the square named after them? It would be, have to be some kind of accomplishment, but they wouldn't have any. Okay. Let's see here. Um. Okay. Okay, we got that. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay, this, I want to get this, this gun. Uh. Oh, we got other shotguns here. Oh, I forgot about this stuff here. Uh. Okay, access crib weapons, uh take that here, um, buy ammo, yeah, gonna get some,
Okay, I really need to stock up on that. Okay. Pierce, we've waited long enough. Now we go for Loren. It won't be easy. That whole tower's gotta be crawling with morning star. Since when have we done things the easy way? True. So what's the plan? Kill everyone we see and find Loren? Makes sense. Meet me at the penthouse. I'll call Shandi. Shandi, it's time. Just tell me where to be. We're meeting at the penthouse. I am gonna kill that son of a bitch. Don't worry. You won't get away this time. You bet your ass he won't. Yeah, so you see, this is like Shandi's personality, like, you know, the thing is, a lot of Saints Row 3 players, they never encountered the original Shandi, but, like, the original Shandi, which I, I know her from Saints Row 2, very, she's much more chill, restrained, um, uh, not like this, like, um... Uh, that's a little big for you. Give me the goddamn gun, Pierce. Okay. All right, let's give that motherfucker what's coming to him. Oh, here we go. Am I gonna get the copyright claim? Hopefully I don't get a copyright claim for this. You sure you want to do this, Shandi? Don't worry about me. I need this. Loren has to pay for what he did, and I want to be there when he gets what he deserves. No worries, girl. We're not stopping with Loren. We're taking out his whole fucking syndicate. I think we'll need to do a little more than kill one guy to do that. We didn't steal that bomb for nothing. How hard do you think finding Philippe will be? Come on, he's a criminal mastermind. He's gotta be on the top floor. It's like a rule. A rule. You think he's gonna be that cliche? Doesn't matter. We're killing everyone in there. You sure the crew has the right address for our delivery? Oh, it's all taken care of. As soon as we make sure the loading dock is clear, they'll drive it in. How many times are you gonna check that gun? How long is it gonna take us to get there? I was just asking. Save it for Lorenz goons. Okay, here we are. Going in through the side door. <laughs> they ain't fucking around here. They've seen us. Shit, they have snipers in here. I wish I had a picture you think of this. All packages are this hard to drop off here? Ha ha! Can you just shoot them? Okay, so th these pistols just have a much higher fire rate. I think they do a little bit less damage, but they shoot just so much faster. Okay, let's try the, the assault rifle now. It's upgraded. Oh, great. Oh, come on. Oh, he's throwing syndicate members at me. Oh, no. Ah. Come on, reload. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, that one was good. Okay, arm bomb. 
bomb set and the clock's ticking. Why didn't we wait to do that until after we kill Loren? That's a really good question. We should move. What did you do? It wasn't me. It just stopped. Did you really expect to once slide up to my office when I could talk? Shit. Don't fuck with the saints. Yeah, these upgrades were definitely worth getting. One thing I don't understand about the AK reload animation, it's kind of wrong, is that if you're if you're not completely out, then you're literally you're pulling the bolt back, but if there's a bullet in the chamber, you don't need to pull the bolt back, but I guess it's video game logic. Was impressive. Make them pay for me. What the fuck is this room? Are those people in there? Looks like all those big guys we keep seeing. Clones? Makes sense to me. What? Uh, okay, maybe makes sense was too strong. What should we call these guys? Who cares? They're blowing up at the rest of this place. How about bricks? They hit like they're made of the stuff. Bricks? Really? All right. What would you call them? John. You ain't getting how this works, are you? You can handle anyone. Ah. I knew this wouldn't be easy. Jesus. Damn, what do I... Ah, come on, reload. Okay, once I take care of all the other enemies... Oh no, ah! I think if we shoot his backpack enough, he'll explode. Whoa, whoa, whoa! So what happens when you play on hardcore difficulty? Pierce and Shandi doing get away from him. Oh, there we go. Okay, so if you shoot his backpack enough, he explodes. Okay. all this Philip likes his things custom made and for his brutes I am the master pattern you see why are you still strung up if they already cloned your ass the copies are flawed they have my brawn but not my brain I can help you the last time a big naked dude said he could help me it did not end well what could he do anyway? Those wires and shit are probably keeping him alive. Trust me, I'm still strong enough to kill Philippe. You want some clothes, man? No time. Man. Like I said, last time a big naked dude. This elevator will take us to the offices. Okay. I think this, this, I'm trying to remember his name. I think his name is Oleg. Um, o Oleg, okay. Office. Seriously, man, you know, if you want, I can find you like a curtain or something. For the human body is nothing to be ashamed of. Unless you have 
insecurities. I'm good. Hey, man, you got a name? My name is Oli Kirloff. So, what did you do before you were a glorified pincushion? I think it's best for our friendship I never elaborate. Just know that the enemy of your enemy is your friend. As long as you oppose the Syndicate, you have nothing to fear from me. Works for me. Welcome to the Saints. Now, the thing is, Oleg was actually a pretty cool character, but they ruined him in Saints Row 4. Um, Damn it! That's an express elevator to the basement. There's no way to catch him. Fuck that. This part I remember else. now. I'm gonna crush that son of a bitch. Leave it to me. I've got this one. Hurry it up. He's getting away. Love to win. Now this, look at this, this was... I mean, this is kind of funny, but I thought that it was kind of ridiculous at the same time. Um, uh, blow up, blow up the building permanent respect bonus. Pancake joke. Permanent cash bonus. This place to hell. I hate this place more than anyone, but it would be folly to destroy Philip's research without seeing what we can harvest from it. We came here to send a message, didn't we? Why not keep the building for yourself? Your choice here, boss. Yeah, the smarter thing would be to keep the building for yourself. You know, you take advantage of it and you're also technically sending a message. Disarm the bomb. So that's one thing that Saints Row 3 does do better than Saints Row 2, is you have choices in the game. And some of those choices are significant. What sucks is you can't ever enter this We're building again, so you'd think you'd have like a here. penthouse or something in here. You'd uh, prefer a more manly shade? Like purple? They should have given you an option to like go in the building, but you can't. Once you like, um, once you take it, you can't. But yeah, um, uh, and uh... Remote control civilian vehicles, okay. Oleg is now a homie, okay. 10% bonus all cash earned for taking over, okay. That that helps us. I think that'll be more useful than respect because with cash we can buy respect too. So that's um So this is the um I left Stillwater for the Senate. I vowed never to forget my hometown roots. My husband gave his life defending Stillwater from gang violence. It is my greatest privilege to honor him with this bridge. What the... This cutscene is pretty cool. I love the RPG part in this cutscene. It's my favorite part. Time for the high spot, boys. Yeah, this. So this is Stillwater, by the way. They came back here for Johnny's funeral.
whoever this crew is, they flow pretty damn good. They're Killbane's thugs. Kill who? He's the Syndicate's attack dog. What he did to Johnny's funeral. That's over the fucking limit. He doesn't care about rules of engagement. Yeah, no rules? I can work with that. You're not ready to fight the Syndicate. Watch us. Just relax, Shandi. All right, big man, what do you got? There are others who hate the Syndicate as much as you do. I will take you to them. Can you believe this? On my husband's bridge! No, 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 I will not come down. I am heading back to the hill. Book an emergency session. God damn it, this is war! So now, um, uh, I got a few comments to make, and this is from a lore perspective. Right, who's um, first? Picking up a girl named Kenzie Kensington. The Deckers are holding her on a barge on the river. What's her deal? Oleg said so we'll um we'll wrap up here. Um, uh, you know this is this leads into the next mission. Um, uh, but um, uh, thank you guys for for watching. And I, I will say like a few things. So the first thing is like that woman on the bridge. That's Monica Hughes. She's the wife of Alderman Hughes. Now she. Um, Alderman Hughes, remember, he's that corrupt mayor candidate. He becomes mayor for a little bit before the um, uh, he dies in the yacht explosion at the end of Saints Row 1. That's who Alderman Hughes was. That's her, um, that's, that's his, um, wife right there, Monica Hughes. Now, Monica Hughes, she looks younger in this than she was in Saints Row 2. In Saints Row, um, the, the third original, I think she looked a little bit older, but she was kind of old in, um, in Saints Row 2, and she actually does make an appearance in Saints Row 2, and in Saints Row 2, she's a very evil woman in Saints Row 2, and she, like, um, uh, she actually work pays the Saints to cause a bunch of chaos on Ultor property, and just destroys much Ultor property as the septic truck mission. So, you know, and then her appearance in Saints Row the Third, it's all of a sudden, like, she talks about how, you know, gang violence, and all. It's, it's a bit weird, but, you know, I'm not trying to hate on this game. I like this game, too, don't get me wrong. There are parts of this game that I enjoy. Um, uh, like, I thought that cutscene with the RPGs was kind of cool, but, um, like, you know, from just a lore perspective, from, like, the old Saints Row games, they changed up a few things that don't make sense, like Shandy, Monica Hughes, um, uh, also the, um... Loren. Now, for people wondering, is Loren dead? Yeah, Loren is dead. That's how he died. So, this is, like, completely different than, like, the other Saints Row games, because the other Saints Row games, it was, like, Saints Row 1 and 2, like, weren't like this. Like, it was, like, you, when you first started attacking a gang in Saints Row 1 and 2, like, the first few missions, you were, like, a nuisance to them. And then you became more of, like, a threat. And then at the very end, like, uh, near the, that gang's storyline, the end of that gang's storyline, you saw the gang start, the enemy gang start to collapse and fragment. And then you took out the boss at the end. But, like, here, this kind of felt, like, really rushed. Like, do you guys agree with me? Like, it felt kind of rushed. Like, you just, it, like, you just, you just met the syndicate. Like, I'm on just part three. Like, we started, like, a few days ago. And so I'm on part three and I already killed Loren. And so it's just, um, like, you know, it feels kind of rushed. And the thing about Loren is Loren was actually a pretty cool antagonist. That they had that they made the problem with loren was that he appears in like you know what how many cutscenes only two cutscenes really in the game and um uh, and if you watch the power trailer the cinematic trailer you know the kanye west cine uh, trailer for um uh, saints row the third that really popular trailer loren seemed like he was going to be the main antagonist of the game like he was going to be that main villain that you're going to be fighting and you're on part three and you just kill him in that way like it his death was kind of funny don't get me wrong but it's like you know you'd think that for this this badass uh, you know uh, gangster that they hyped up you'd think that he'd have more of a um uh interesting death than just like you know getting crushed by the uh, the, the chandelier ball um but that's pretty much it you know, that's just my thoughts so far on the story, and I, and I, I'm not new to this game by any means. I beat this game when it came out ten years ago, so I know the story also pretty well. Um, I know Saints Row Two much better, but I still know the story in this one pretty well. Um, but um, thank you guys for watching. I guess I'll see you guys on the next one. If you guys enjoy this series, please do drop a like. Um, and take care, everyone.